The group that's really growing is the bicultural. Um, the bicultural group is growing from 43 to 55 percent, and that's a pretty significant um, change. The bicultural is growing, of course it does, because the second gen is the group that's growing in this country, the U.S. born, the kids of immigrants, right? So that makes perfect sense. They are uh, raised in Hispanic families, but in American neighborhoods, so they are bilingual, bicultural, and they remain so throughout their life. And I think one of the things we need to point out here is that you don't become more acculturated or more assimilated over time. That happens over generations. Which one is the bigger driver for me? Is it culture? Is it language? And I think first we have to remember that language is ultimately part of the culture. I think that's very, very critical. It is ultimately one of the biggest cultural identifiers. And so I actually choose language specific to budget allocation. So what I mean by that, although culture overall is a bigger driver, I think from a brand budget allocation, language becomes a bigger driver because I know that if my Hispanic consumer is still speaking Spanish and English, and in other words, I can reach my bicultural segment either with one or the other language, I would prefer Spanish by far. And so when I talk to clients, that's the critical piece for me. Yeah, actually, I would like to add our perspective. At MEC Bravo, we have moved away from seeing the marketplace from the acculturation level. We think that actually language is just a tactic. We see the Hispanic marketplace based on attitudes and behaviors, and I think that actually brings that efficiency perspective that you were discussing. When you concentrate and you identify what is the attitudes and behaviors that, that are in common among the different segments, then you have found a very effective way of reaching them. And when we're looking at the acculturation numbers, you know, I think of the, 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 um, the melting pot model would have people jump on the express train starting at less acculturated and go straight to highly acculturated. But they're not doing that. Latinos got on the local, and they got off at, at bicultural. And so they're, they, they, you know, they don't, they're not abandoning their culture. They don't want to abandon their culture. Maintaining their ties to culture is very important. And as Stephen mentioned, language is also very relevant. And we see that, uh, like I said in the research, we ask consumers, why do you choose this? Oh, porque la abuelita viene a visitar, you know, because grandma comes to visit, because I want my children also to have a connection to the things that probably they had experienced in the past, the TV shows they had seen.